Hi everyone, let's paint a red whiskered booboo. They are very lovely birds that are native to Asia. And this photo was taken by me in Hong Kong last year. You can find wildlife photos as painting reference on my Instagram page. If you use any of my photos, you are very welcome to tag me so that I can see and share your work too. So I used only four colors painting this which is the Zon palette. It includes only ivory black, cadmium red, yellow ochre, and titanium white. It could be a little bit tricky for absolute beginners to use this palette, but I would still recommend using less color so as not to confuse yourself and also to ensure color harmony in your work. You can start with, for example, the primaries only and adding a white. So let's begin. First, we have to make a draft. The draft does not have to be very detailed, but it should be accurate, or at least it has to make sense. It doesn't matter if you draw the bird a little bit too choppy than the reference photo, but the general proportion still has to make sense. You can use pencil. I usually like to use paint directly. Draw it until you think the shape is accurate enough and um, the place where you put the wings and the key features are correct. Don't start with a draft with wrong proportions and position because it could be a bit difficult to move things later on. But like I said, the draft does not have to be very detailed. You just have to mark down the position of the key features, but you don't have to draw in every individual feathers, for example. Once the draft is ready, we can start painting by keying in the darker areas. Focus on big shapes and don't try to paint in any detail at this stage. After you have blocked in the big shapes with the main colors, you can start adding in slightly more details. How much details to add in really depends on your style and personal preference. If you would like to paint more loosely, try to use as few brushstrokes as you can to create the idea of feathers instead of drawing each one out. Squinting your eyes when looking at the reference photo can also help you to leave out unnecessary details. Here you can see I reshaped the beak of the bird by negative painting, which is to add in a little bit of background color to shape out the beak. So it is like I'm painting the beak, but I'm not directly painting it. I'm painting the beak by painting the background around it.
When you think the bird is almost ready, you can add in the background first. I like simple background, so I didn't really follow the reference photo here. Also, because with the zone palette, it is not very possible to mix a green color, which is in the reference photo. I used instead a mixture of mainly yellow ochre and ivory black to mix a color that can suggest greenery. As for the upper part, um, it is mainly ivory black and titanium white to suggest the sky. It is said that ivory black is a warm black, but I find that um, if you mix it with titanium white, it actually appear bluish as you can see. So um, in this case, I use it more like a blue substitute. When you are doing the background, it is also a good opportunity to um, fine tune the shape of the bird. You can make a little bit adjustment by negative painting if your bird is too fat, for example. You can um, use your background color to cover, cover it and to adjust the shape. After you key in the background, you can still go back to change anything you don't like about the bird and to add in more detail if you wish. Then I add in the branch. Branches are pretty easy to paint. The steps are very similar to painting any other things. You key in the colors in big shapes first. Starting from the darkest would be easier and slowly adding in necessary details to suggest the rough texture. The key is not to overdo it. If you overpaint it, the branch will look too smooth and does not look like a branch. And then I add in the feet and the claws of the bird. I must say this is my weakest part, but I think the key is also not to overdo it. I feel that actually the less brush strokes I use, the more realistic it will look. So the painting is completed. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you try to paint this or any of my wildlife photos, please also tag me and I can give you comments if you wish. See you next time.